Hi everyone, this is Terry Honeycutt, owner and designer at MyPhotoBorders.com. Today I want to bring you this new design that we have uh, just released. And I just want to kind of go down to basics, show you how this template is layered and how easy it is to work with. So in, the, in this tutorial I'm going to actually show you how to do two images on one template and I'll also show you how to do if you're just going to do one image as well. So let's get started. So I already have an image chosen for this design and let me bring it up here. Okay, I have this catcher throwing the ball. So what I want to do is um, basically select this image. Uh, we can either copy and paste or just drag it over to the template. So I'm just going to drag it onto this design. And if you notice, it, it came up here at the top, but actually we want to drag this layer down where it says right here drop top center photo above here so it needs to go right above that layer and I'm going to move him up just slightly there we go and another thing I like to do is also kind of blend in or hide the bottom portion of his legs here so what I want to do is on this image layer of this photo go down to the bottom of your screen here and you see this little icon it's a square with a circle in the middle that's a layer mask icon and so we'll click on it click on the mask the white box here then come to your gradient tool and make sure your gradient is set from black to transparent then using our gradient tool i'm going to hold down my shift key and I'm just going to drag straight up. Let's do that another time, maybe. And I'm just going to gradually fade away the bottom so it kind of blends in behind the smoke and fog. Okay, that's it for the first image. So, what we'll do now is if you'll notice, there's another layer that's highlighted in blue and it says drop bottom photo above here. So, this is going to be a smaller image that we're going to lay on top of this one. And I have it already ready to go. Here it is. I'm gonna click my. I'm gonna drag this one over. There we go. So of course he needs to move down a little bit. We're gonna drop him down just so his legs kind of hide behind the dark shadow. Something like that. There we go. And that's pretty simple. Uh, so we have. Um, if you notice, there's uh, some smoke kind of in between the two layers. Kind of separate them and there's a little bit of uh, glow which is this layer right here a glow effect behind the player so if if you decide you wanted to use one image uh, just turn that layer off because you don't really need it or if you don't want it you can also turn it off even with the two images it's your choice so either way and that's pretty much it there so that's the basic in dropping two images but now i want to show you if we just want to use one image and i'll kind of show you how to adjust the colors as well so let's go ahead and get rid of these images that we had all right and then i'm going to click here where it says drop top center photo above here because this time we're going to use one image and let me pull it up i've got this hockey player here so i'm going to drag him over there we go okay and he falls right into place <clears throat> so like I said if the glow option here this layer that's in green you really don't need it uh, for single player so just turn that off you really just kind of want a sm uh, smoky foggy effect okay and we'll go back to the player image we're gonna do the same thing we did previously we're gonna create an image mask click on the mask go to our gradient tool and hold down the shift key and drag up and we just want him to gradually fade in behind that there we go something like that now that's pretty simple for the image so at this point let's say you want to change colors so you can start anywhere on the template a lot of times I'll start at the bottom and work my way up but so let's say these light streaks, let's say I want to go with something more blue. So there we go. Maybe something. I'm going to copy that. 
and I can just paste that right here in that area in that box so that we ain't gotta figure out what color it was again I'll come to my flares here same thing paste that color in there and same thing here so you can see how quick and easy this is to to edit okay and we got another flare here and we got one last option and that's this one right here is the is the actual glow behind the player so you can paste it in there and if you want it brighter you can just come up and do that <clears throat> there we go so last thing is we need to change the text color to complement the background so let's start with the uh, team name double click color overlay and choose this box Come in here, paste our color. And if we want a little bit brighter, maybe something like that. All right, I'm gonna copy this code again. Say okay, okay. We got one last option <clears throat> to change, and that's the. Uh, it's got like a little small trim outline around the text. And so I'm gonna double click. Actually, that is the this letter down here. It's that bottom layer. And this is outer glow right here. Paste, there we go. Okay, so that's it. So let's say, uh, for example, he's not the bandits. So let's say he is uh, Wolverines. So I'm gonna type in some new tags. And now he is the Wolverine. So at this point, this letter behind him doesn't need to be a B. We need to change that to a W. So if you notice, I have three layers here because these are three different layer styles that are stacked on top of each other to, to get this effect. So what you need to do is change each one of these using, the, using all caps. Change each one to a W. W. Let's do the next one. W. And one more W okay now we got them all changed but as you see the text is big now so we'll just highlight all of the W's and we can just go to edit transform scale and I'm going to pull these down so I'm on a Mac I'm holding my shift shift alt key and dragon at the same time there we go. Or if you was on a PC, shift option. And there we have it on the canvas, but you can actually bring it up a little higher if you want, if you want to see more of the top of the W. There we go. Or if you, some people sometimes want to stretch it out, that's okay. If you want to elongate it, just pull it down. There you go, once we're done, just hit your enter button. And we forgot one more thing, this uh, 33, the trim around 33 needs to change colors. So we're gonna come here on 33, double click over here on the FX. And that should be under stroke. There we go, click stroke. Paste that code in there again, there we go. And that was it, so pretty simple easy method and easy to edit so uh, I think you'll be excited about this new template we've had a lot of interest in it uh, a lot of feedback so far so um, if you ever have any questions please feel free to contact us email us and if you ever have any problems with any of our templates uh, definitely reach out to us we're also available to offer remote uh, computer support if needed and once again thank you and have a great day